once you're ready to steal somebody else's husband. Yours. <laughs> Yours. Sweet, sweet to me again. Sweet to me again. Record that. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange An Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now, I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vienna Timmen News. Now I just feel like, you know, even though you may not be married, it's just some things are just common sense of how to behave around a married couple. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't even like to stand and look someone's husband eye to eye and carry on more than a three minute conversation. So when she, we go to exchange toll numbers, like I was telling somebody the other day, every type of communication that you have with this couple needs to go through the wife. Like, and you should know that at some point in your life. So a few days ago was Portia's birthday, and I think she wore this dress when she was celebrating something with Andy and Phaedra a few days ago, and she took some pictures as well. And it was like, you know what? I was out. My makeup was done. Why not just use this same footage for my birthday? So this is the video that she used. And also she posted some images, which I'm going to post later. But her caption is the one that have people talking. So let's get into it. Portia captioned the video. Nobody hates harder than a monkey who realizes they didn't stop the show. Now, of course, most of you have heard this saying she remixed it a little bit well someone remixed it a little bit and she went ahead and posted that version okay so this person responded when you were enjoying the luxury lifestyle traveling all over the globe adapting to the rich lifestyle he wasn't a monkey i've always seen through you that you meant no good another person responded we do not call people monkey, Portia. You literally not too long ago was with this man. We are our worst enemy. Shaking my head as much as I like you, but no name calling, especially that. Now, of course, it's a saying. So people know that it's the way how it was remixed, you know, reworded that she's talking about Simon. Okay, like you're not stopping anything over here. You want to block me from filming in the house? Fine. But I'm still going to stay in this house. I'm not going anywhere while you cry all over social media. You want to block me from filming in the car you bought? Fine. I can lease one. I can buy one for myself. I'm still out here living. You're not stopping anything. So she is talking about him, even though it is a saying. And people are like, we don't care if it's a saying. Don't call no black male monkey. So I see both sides. A gold deacon show you mean so she's out here calling people monkey remember the historical context of this super passive aggressive people keep it classy when he was taking you to dubai for your wedding he wasn't a monkey karma is real from my king to monkey wow love marriage isn't for the faint hearted from 24 weddings to monkey is wild but the monkey owns the property guess he put up a good show for you to notice Portia, you won't find another monkey that gave you your dream wedding anymore and lavish lifestyle i'm sure she will and can but are they going to last we'll see what the end gonna be i'm interested in who's gonna get the last laugh this time time will definitely tell in my granny voice but it was okay for you to dine and sleep with the monkey a few months ago Oof. damn i'm sorry but you ate the monkeys y'all just going low but why can't you get your own mansion and fleet of cars feed it off a monkey's apparently oh my gosh what is happening in the next post where portia received some not so pleasant comments was when she posted these images right here with phaedra and she wrote freaking frack reunion went crazy the word of the night icons presenting the official lineup for bravo watch what happens live 15th anniversary special this sunday 
And so you have this comment. Phaedra falsely accused Candy of attempted rape, though. Shaking my head, I can't. Sorry, no freaking frack for me after those dangerously false accusations. Not you laughing it up with Phaedra after doing Candy so bad. I'd be side-eyeing you if I was her. Talk about moving funny. I'm more scared of Phaedra than the FBI. The way she lie is very scary. Watch your back, Portia. Ah, I'm good. Phaedra never apologized to Candy. Don't trust her. She might set you up again. Once a snake, always a snake. I see nothing but false claims coming from thick Phaedra's big wide mouth. Be careful, Portia. Portia was in on the yes saying be careful. Portia is not dumb. She knew exactly what she was doing. I could never be friends with someone who lied on me and almost got me sued. I'm sorry, but this is weird. Portia desperate for real. All that crying she was doing after Phaedra made a bleep out of her. I'm starting to think that whole situation was for show. Can't pay me to link with somebody that not only manipulated me to do their dirty work, but publicly. Watch that lady cause she's sneaky for real. Love you P, but I couldn't with someone that lied on me like that. And a few days ago, here's Candy wishing Portia a happy birthday and posting, you know, different images. Look at them. Her leg on Portia. Portia responded, so many fun memories. Love you. Thank you, Queen. This person responded, can you forgive Phaedra now? And to that I say, the difference is whether you believe Portia tears or not, she cried, she showed remorse, she apologized publicly a few times, privately she and Candy have had some long conversations, she apologized again, she showed remorse. And in Candy eyes, that's enough. Now, would I have? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. You and Phaedra both can go over there, okay? But this is about Candy, so it's not about me, <laughs> all right? So Candy's like, what she did was enough. I'm cool with her. But as far as Phaedra goes, whether she's still practicing or not, she's like, as an attorney, I can never publicly admit to this, admit to saying that someone, I can't do that. Maybe privately, but publicly, no, okay? Also, if I say I'm sorry, what am I sorry for? Saying I'm sorry is almost like I'm admitting that I did something wrong, even though she did do something wrong. So at the reunion, she attempted to say I'm sorry for telling Portia that someone told me. It was just all over the place. And so Candy feels like you lied. And then you are lying on top of the lie. So you're not admitting that you did this and being sincere and genuine with your apology. So I can't even mess with you. And even if Phaedra admitted and apologized, I'm still not messing with you. I'm going to forgive you for my sake and my heart, but still stay over there. <laughs> you know, that's not me. I hate you. It's just me. That's just how I'm choosing to move on and live my life. And that's that. I can you wish Portia a happy birthday. Happy birthday. She tagged Portia. What an amazing ride, 12 years strong. Okay. And you already know some of Kenya Moore's supporters, Tim Twer, were not here that she posted Portia and wish her a happy birthday. And I completely understand. But this video is not about reading those comments. It was about Phaedra's situation and the both of them reuniting. And also the remix caption to a popular saying that had people coming for Portia. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Us. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.